Hi, my name is Omar, and this is an in-depth tour of the DMC-1 CNC. In this video, I want to thoroughly cover the machine, its features, its specifications, and what exactly you can expect from buying one, as well as what you need to know to get started making parts. Let's start with the specs. The DMC-1 is a 3-axis CNC milling machine. The X-axis travels 12 inches, the Y travels 8 inches, and the Z travels about 5.5 inches. The bed in the machine is also these exact Y and X dimensions of 8 inches and 12 inches respectively. The entire machine covers an area of about 20 inches wide by 20 inches deep and 28 inches tall at full height. The machine does have flood coolant, which requires you to place a small bucket for a reservoir somewhere below the machine. Looking at the business end of things, the Z-axis has a 2 horsepower variable frequency spindle. This spindle has an ER11 collet built in and can spin from a range of around 200 to 12,000 RPM. This spindle was specifically designed to cut metals and maintain full torque at any speed. The DMC-1 machine itself is built entirely of thick laser-cut steel tubing and laser-cut sheet metal for incredible rigidity, which is absolutely important for machining metals and hard materials. The axes are all mounted on large 15mm linear rails, and the X and Y axes both feature dual spring-loaded ball nuts for essentially zero backlash. For work holding, there are three main methods you'll be using. The first is just the bare bed itself, which has threaded M6 holes spaced throughout. And the second is the included 4-inch precision vise. You can, of course, get creative and figure something else out, but this setup already is pretty versatile and handles basic parts very well. Putting a slab of aluminum and facing it down serves as an extremely effective surface for using the super glue and blue tape trick for flat sheet materials. Before you run your first part, there are a few things you'll need in addition to what the kit provides. First of all, you'll need a dedicated computer for communicating with the CNC. Secondly, you'll need a G-code sending software. We're offering two different controller options, so the software you need depends on which controller you use. The first option we ship by default is a USB controller. This can connect to any Windows computer, but is only compatible with Mach 3 from Artsoft. The second option is a parallel port controller. This controller requires a 32-bit computer with a parallel port, but it works with Mach 3, Mach 4, or Linux CNC. We'll send the USB controllers by default, so you need to specify if you want the parallel port controller instead. The last thing you'll need is the software to generate the G-code from your CAD files. I highly recommend Autodesk Fusion 360, since it is powerful and free for small businesses and hobbyists, and includes many other features such as CAD as well. You'll want to install Fusion 360 on your main computer, and probably not the CNC dedicated one. All of the details for setting up the softwares, as well as examples for generating G-code, from Fusion 360 will be covered thoroughly in our other YouTube videos. Although this is very generic information you can learn from anywhere else. The next step is locating your part, which is very simple with the included magnetic probe. To use it, you just place the probe in position and then jog over to the faces you want to locate. The machine is able to locate accurately within 0.01 millimeter increments, which is more than acceptable for standard machining tolerances. Once in position, you enter the probe offset, repeat for the other axes, and now you know exactly where your end mill is relative to the fixtured part. Probing the z-axis is as simple as it gets. You take the included height setter and place it on the top of the surface you're probing. Hit Auto Tool 0, and the machine takes over and automatically stores the height. Again, there will be many more videos going through example parts and setups on our YouTube channel, and there are some right now, so you can check it out to see everything in action. So once we have the machine set up and the part located, we're ready to hit cycle start and watch the job go. That about sums up what you need to know before purchasing the DMC-1 CNC. Also very important to note, we are selling the machine as a kit and as a fully assembled and calibrated machine for a slightly higher cost. The kit is a lot of fun and a great learning experience to build. It will probably take you about two days to complete in total if you're good with your hands and familiar with tools like Allen keys and wrenches. You will need to exercise some caution while building not to damage or bend parts like the ball screws as well as to ensure that critical parts of the frame are square with the included digital protractor. There will of course be an incredibly detailed build video and PDF format manual coming before we start shipping that will walk you through the entire process beginning to end, including calibration and setup for your first part. If all of that sounds like more of a headache than fun, or you just want a working machine right out of the box, then you're probably better off buying the assembled and calibrated version for a little bit more money. So of course, if there's anything else you'd like to know, you can contact us through our social media and our website. We have a YouTube channel where we will regularly upload educational and instructional videos. Our Facebook and Instagram is more of a behind the scenes look into our production and progress, especially once we launch our Kickstarter campaign. So help us out by spreading the word and thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you'll make with your own CNC.